Hi, this is a webinar on the Teacher Gradebook in the ThinkWave system. First, click on the Gradebook tab. This is where the teacher can access all the features of the ThinkWave Gradebook. There are six different views of the Gradebook, overall, by assignment, by student, assignments, final grades by student, and final grades by class. You can select the class on the left-hand side. And here you can select the quarter or semester view. Here you can select the view by type of assignment, homework project, quiz, or test. And here you can select the week. You can also navigate the weeks by clicking on the next or previous buttons. In the overall view, this is also the grid view. You can see all of the students on the left-hand side for that class. The final column is the automatically calculated final grade. You can see here the different assignments, tests, and quizzes. You can enter or change the grades by clicking on the grade window. When you enter the grade, click Save at the top. It will automatically recalculate the grade. By default, you can enter a mix of letter grades, percentages, and points. This can be changed. I'll get to that in a second. There's also a quick fill window at the bottom, which would allow you to give all the students the same grade, unless the grade has been previously entered. So for instance, if all of the students receive 15 points for this homework assignment here, except for Andrew Jackson who received 10 points, then a quick way to enter the grade would be to enter the 10 points for Andrew Jackson, then 15 in the quick fill, and click Save. This will quickly enter the grades and recalculate the final grade. There are different ways to navigate the grid. Once you click on the grade window, you can navigate by using the arrow keys to go up, down, left, and right. Or return brings you to the next row down, and shift return will bring you to the next row up. You can also use tab or shift tab to go up or down. You can change the way the grades are automatically calculated by going into the setup tab and default grading options. And here you can select flexible grading options which will automatically calculate percents, letter grades, points, and custom grades. Click here and you can create the weighting for the grade by homework, project, quiz, and test. The total percentage has to be 100%. And here you can select pure points, if you are only using points in the grading system. And here you can select whether or not you want to average the subterms for each semester. The total has to come to 100%. If you want to have a custom grading option for a specific class, then you can select the class on the left-hand side. And here you can select whether to apply the default grading option, pure points, or flexible grading. You will have to set custom grading options for each term when you want the class to override by default. Back to the Gradebook tab. You can add an assignment by clicking on Add Assignment at the top left. Here you can enter the name, and here whether it is Homework, Project, quiz, or test. Here the date, and here the grade type, points, percents, letter grades, etc. These can be customized. I'll get to that in a second. If you select the points, here you can enter how many points it counts for, and if it's a percent or a letter grade, the weight of the grade. I'll go into more detail on the weight of the grades in a second. And here you can enter a description. You have some formatting choices at the top, and here you can select Edit in HTML. So for instance, if you want to add a hyperlink. Here at the bottom, you can select if you want the assignment to be used in another class. If you use the assignment in another class, it has to be the exact same date. And here at the top right, you can select if it counts for extra credit. And here you can allow students to turn in assignments online. And here you select if you want to add an attachment for this assignment. You can add multiple attachments of different file types, so PDFs, Word documents, music or video files, any type of file aside from an executable. Back to the gradebook. You can edit assignments, quizzes, or tests by clicking on the name at the top column. Now go to the Assignment tab here. This gives you a more detailed view of the assignment grades. You can select the assignment on the left-hand side. And here you can see the student's name, the final calculated grade, and here how many points they got for that assignment. And here's a long form field where you can enter comments regarding that assignment. And any files the student uploaded regarding this assignment will show up here. 
You also have the ability to quick fill the grade and the comments at the bottom. And the button here will allow you to upload any files associated with that assignment even after it's been created. Now click on the By Student tab, and this gives you a view of all the assignments for one student at a time. You can select the student at the left hand side. The Assignments tab has a summary breakdown of all the assignments per class. Select the class from the left hand side, or you can select to show all of the assignments in a class by clicking on the Expand All checkbox here. The icon here allows you to quickly record grades for assignments and this icon allows you to upload files associated with that assignment. This icon allows you to expand the details of that particular assignment, and this icon notes whether or not there are files associated with that assignment. Final Grades by Student tab has a summary of all the grades and classes a student has. You select the student from the left-hand side, and here you have the class, the quarters, and semesters. The final grades are automatically calculated as a percentage here, and here is the corresponding letter grade. You can override the grade here by entering either a percentage or a letter grade. If you want to display an exact percentage in the override, you should enter it by a percentage and it will automatically convert to a letter grade. If you put the letter grade in the percentage, it is estimated by the system, so for instance, an A would be 100%. You can also enter any comments in the window here. Final Grades by Class shows the overall class grades. You also have the ability to override grades here. Additionally, you have the option to lock grades at the lower left by clicking on the lock icon. Once locked, the grades can be unlocked by an administrator. And these are the features in the Teacher Gradebook in the ThinkWave system. Thanks for watching.